Currently, point here on Taoiseach and Camera Yemafai, Michal Martin.
knowing that these were the first words in the story of the Irish state and not the final ones. captured the emotion and the trauma of losing a martyred president. They also captured the emotion and trauma of Bail of Law. Hushed were the camps around Ireland 100 years ago at our dear commander's death. Both sides in the civil war mourned his loss. Those who are pro-treaty as well as those who take in a different direction, despite their great love and admiration for him. A nation at war was momentarily united in grief. I'm struck today again, as I was last week at Glasnevin at the graves of Collins and Griffith, by the achievement of those who took on the mantle of leadership after their deaths a hundred years ago. Led by W.T. Cosgrave, they embedded democracy and had the imagination to initiate incredibly ambitious economic development programs, like the Ardna Prussia, Ardna Prussia Shannon Power Scheme, renewable energy to bring heat and light to every home in the land a hundred years ago. They also upheld the principles of democracy by enabling a peaceful transition of power in 1932. In contrast to many other states, new states which came into existence after the First World War, we survived and passed our first test. Collins' legacy was multitude. Unlike others, his defining idea. So it's fitting that we gather here today and remember, because what happened here 100 years ago changed the course of Irish history. Ever since that day, we've gathered at this solemn spot to pay tribute to that lost leader, that soldier politician, whose life helped create the Irish state and whose death shocked and traumatized a divided nation. By honoring Michael Collins, we are Margaret Galair. I would now like to ask Eleanor Moore, great grandniece of Michael Collins, to speak on behalf of the Collins family. Hello, thank you, Garrett. Hello, good afternoon to you all. Lord Mayor, Taoiseach, Bonnishta, County Mayor, Garrett, and the Leap. Michael Collins Bail of Law Commemoration Committee, Ministers, TDs and Councillors, and the Cork County Council. Distinguished guests, Make yourselves friendly, amen. Yes, prayer has always been part of the celebration here at Bail of Law, and so we continue that tradition today by offering the first glorious mystery of the Most Holy Rosary for the happy repose of the soul of General Michael Collins in this place that is special for us all. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Let go, Nishkrek, we lock no be 
shall live conning around the wind. Right, do you want to get a photo? Uh, and a lot of that energy is renewable energy. That's the solution in the 
medium term at least, uh, is a massive increase in the amount of new electric vehicles. Not just in our data centers, but also all the electric vehicles, all the homes that are going to force me to pump the electric vehicle systems, and all the businesses that are going to come off gas uh, and move towards uh, the energy and the electric systems. So the real problem is what an inadequate supply and not an excess demand. But in the interim, we are going to see that the rate which data centers are added to that's quite a very you never know. Can you offer your resume about Peach again? The reason you've covered in some of this before, Lauren Bora, at our rowing, Nish Marnarchin, at the Lauren Akramori, at the Lauren Eroid, at the Lauren Swan Dada, that's probably the show of Lauren Nahuida. And the Lack Will and Thompson are really needed. How can you look at Lauren Nahuida as a deep major on Thompson, Kate Dina, and Agus Marta? Can you say you would attack Slaan, Cheat, Agus, and published a Pasulish and Public Patrick? Well, it's talking to Ivan, he's more awesome. It's a lot of time. No more of you needed to do it. But I don't know if it's an arrival. In fact, it's a tier. You know, we should be able to get a chance to get an acre. Box of the school for Latin and for the tier. I'll just be here. Grown shin, start on the roof. I'm just saying, you're not on a job. No, it's a lot on the roof. It's important to be in this way. Our focus is very much on the job at hand. The work that you've given us to do to get the cost of living down, to build more houses, to make sure that we've got a job opportunities for everyone in all parts of the country. That's very much the focus of all three parties of government at the moment. When the election comes, more than two years away, I can certainly want to see the centre of Irish politics strengthen to the centre of Irish politics grow. And I think that's possible. I think there are too many people who seem to think that the next general election is a foregone conclusion based on opinion polls. I dispute that. I think this government is working well. I think we'll get a lot more done over the next two years. And it's possible for all three government parties to see their vote go through this election. I just ask you, Tom, she's already confident. Are you satisfied with Robert Troy's explanation for his uh, omission of the to purchase all the property interests? I think he's made a comprehensive statement on this, don't to clarify and, and, and to put everything out there. Uh, quite a number of, of what he didn't declare in 2020 had been declared in previous years. Uh, he's apologised fully and he acknowledges the you know, seriousness of the error that he made. Uh, and I am satisfied uh, with that comprehensive statement. Uh, it has cleared the air. Uh, and uh, you know, I think the, uh, in my view, he works very hard, very diligent uh, minister of the Department of State, he takes his job very seriously and has applied himself very diligently to that. Can I just ask you the story from the Business Post today that a lot of capital ministers are, are livid over the fact that the energy regulator hasn't advised or warned the possibility of energy shortages and that we may be facing restrictions and so forth in the coming winter. Can you come to that? Can you both come to well, that? Well, I think, factors? first of all, it, 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 Late last year, last year at some stage, there would have been indications uh, from the CRU uh, that there were challenges in respect of energy security. Uh, and I think government were taking the issue a bit by surprise in respect of that presentation that we have received. And so government resolved to direct and give powers to procure on an emergency basis uh, capacity to generate uh, energy. Uh, and that has been delayed somewhat now. So there is a review underway in terms of how we've got to this particular stage, uh, in terms of uh, the role of the regulator and, and the air grid uh, and full clarification on that. I think our focus has to be uh, in terms of making sure that for the purposes of the economy and the industry in particular, uh, that we retain uh, what has been a consistent strength of Ireland, uh, the maintenance of the utilities, the provision of utilities, uh, to and it's not unusual in other European states um, that we have more than one central uh, And that's been the evolution of the outcome for quite some time. Uh, and I think it has worked in the context of the focus that has been made over looking where Ireland was a hundred years ago. It's two areas that did an extraordinary focus. That's a huge challenge to the current moment. I don't understand Housing, potential housing, trying to help the farm, and cost of living, prices of living, going on. Each party, different times, today is a deal for going on about the detail and all of that. We have a common deal in Europe. And anybody who has a favourite negotiation, what's called the government, 
initiative and devilment that fitted him for the role of a great guerrilla warrior. His ability in the handling of finance, as well as his power of speech, were exceptional for a man of his age and education. But that characteristic, which stood him in good stead under all conditions, was his sense of humour, unquote. We may all of Kiloin, Moonleha, Gomor Egan Bubble in our Rugoch Augustogoch Abe. Korkioch Broduil Gusmir at Isa Chanera Shaw. Nianashe Darud Riyak, er a counter fame in Ero Horki, accepted an invitation to attend this commemoration and laid a wreath on behalf of the government. The invitation to my late colleague Brian Lenhan to speak here 12 years ago marked another important moment. These and many other generous and open gestures have helped ensure that democratic Irish nationalism has found so much common ground in looking back at our history and the role of our founders in winning independence. It is my honour and privilege to be here as Taoiseach and as leader of Fianna Fáil to join you in paying tribute to Michael Cullen. This generosity of spirit was reciprocated by the late Brian Lenehan when he spoke here in 2010, and it would, be, it, would be, it would be hard to improve upon the remarks he made that day. And I quote, If today's commemoration can be seen as a further public act of historical reconciliation at one of Ireland's most sacred places, then I will be proud to have played my part. Oh, yeah. 
Give them, don't give them, don't give them respect. While we are, act we are active in promoting the rule of law as a fundamental principle, and while being resolute in our support for Ukraine as it stands against the imperialist aggression of Russia. And it is this brought such misery to other countries in the last century. Hey, hey, hey. tendency to dismiss Irish politics as so-called civil war politics. However, the truth is that after 1923, no party advocating a return to violence has ever won more than 4% of the vote. The parties who have led our governments since then have done so because they have worked to move beyond the civil increases in life expectancy of any country. Today, over 25 years longer than it was in 1922, with reductions in infant and maternal mortality equal to those seen anywhere. In independent Ireland, each new generation has had greater access to education and achieved higher levels of education. And we have progressed from being one of the most peripheral and poorest countries in the world to the most globally connected of all in terms of trade and employment. No one's out. Michael Collins' father had himself survived one of the most traumatic and deadly famines ever recorded. With few natural resources, little industry, and separated from a significant part of its historic territory. Especially those who experience hunger or are denied access to education, especially girls. Throughout our commitments to the multilateral system, we always strive to be a force for good in the world. In Europe, at the heart of a community of nations advancing the ideals of freedom, peace, and solidarity, our membership of the European Union 
is another stepping stone to freedom. It helped us replace an inward vision, ourselves alone, with a new self-confidence about what we could achieve, all of us together. Collins intended his legacy, did not intend his legacy to be the last word on Irish freedom. Instead, he gave us the freedom, the opportunity, the possibility to find our own path to it. And on the centenary of his death, we pay tribute from this place on behalf of a grateful nation and join together to say to Michael Collins, thank you.